Behind him, fussing! Take a picture of us, no? to get a 
placed right next to the great rope. You don't even put on tillin'. Yeah, I'm going to tillin'. Check, check that cabinet in there. But still, even if I tell the Chavar Kadisha, what's going to make them want to put you right next to the Great Grove? Even those manuscripts that I wrote. Four o'clock, exactly like you said. I have to go tell the Rav and the Chaber Kadisha. This is what happened. I was in Yeshiva and Nitcha called me over and he said, uh, come to my house, I'm gonna die tonight and I want some company. So he came to his house and I was just learning. And I said, what am I wasting my time for? I may as well just go back to the base medish. He said, no, wait. Um, he said, I'm gonna die at exactly four o'clock and I want you to bury me next to the, next to the great Rav. What does that mean? You don't even put on tefillin. How could you, how could you be buried next to him? So he showed me the place where he keeps his tefillin, and they were very mehudedik at tefillin. And I asked him, so, but why will the Chavakadisha want to bury you next to him? And he showed me these manuscripts. Say, uh, uh, Hebrew. Uh, I guess that proves that he's a hidden tzaddik, and he deserves to be buried next to the rock. Go check in the cemetery if there's a spot, if there's a spot next to the great rock. You be, can you believe it? He wants to be buried next to the Great Rub in the old cemetery. Yeah, we haven't been using it for years. I'm sure there's no space available. Let's go check anyway. All right. I can't believe it that he was a hidden sodic. It's incredible. I can't believe it. There's still a space next to the Rub after all these years. So that's why my next one will be for this time. I have to go tell this to the Rebbe, I ask for a bracha for Gershon, the Chosen's father, so that he should be able to walk again. Ooh, I got a letter from the Rebbe. Let me read it. Tell the Rosh Yeshiva that he should begin to study the daily portions of Chumash, Tehillim, and Tanya, as instituted by the Freer de Garebbe. Not only learn them himself, but influence others to do the same. Mm, he has a lot of people under his influence. He's a big Rosh Yeshiva. In the merit of walking in the Freer de Garebbe's ways, Hashem will bless him with the ability to walk in the literal sense. I just wrote a letter to the Rebbe. And I also received a reply, and the Rebbe told me that you should learn chitas every day and also influence others to do the same. And in that merit, you will be able to walk again since you have walked in the Friedrich Rebbe's ways. Thank you. I'll try it. Lord chitas. Yes, Rabbi. Lord chitas. Yes, Rabbi. Lord chitas. Okay, Rabbi. Love Jesus. Yes, Rabbi. Love Jesus. Okay. Okay, Rabbi. Yes, Rabbi. I feel better already.